So welcome everyone to the planning for implementation track. I'm going to be facilitating the track. My name is Hilary Thorson along with Michelle Futornik. And um, I'm really excited to welcome you to this track because we have a number of really interesting presentations about libraries around the world that are assessing their readiness and developing plans to shift to a linked data environment. Some have started to work with linked data and are, are assessing their current implementation to inform strategies and pathways forward, and others are in the process of formulating those plans. Learn about the methods to evaluate linked data readiness and the organization training infrastructure changes that other libraries anticipate as they begin linked data implementation. So we have two presentations today. Um, if you have questions or comments during the session, you may use the Zoom raised hand feature to speak and um, we'll call on you during the question and answer portion after each presentation. You can also submit um, questions through the Q&A uh, section of the webinar. And I have um, a slide up here that just has some links you may find helpful. The conference schedule is available at sketch.com. We have a conference website um, and a Twitter with the LD4 conference hashtag. I'd also welcome you to join the LD4 Slack, Slack space, specifically the LD4 2020 planning for implementation track so that we can continue conversations um, started during the sessions uh, asynchronously after the sessions are over. And I also have a link for the community participation guidelines. So I'll just put the link to the slides in the chat for everyone. And we have a, two days of sessions. Uh, our first session is this morning. Uh, we have linked data among academic libraries in Nigeria, status in future direction with Basiru Aditomiwa and library services and linked data at Makere University, prospects of a research-led university with Onan Malumba. And then Wednesday, July 15th, we have um, Federal University Libraries Readiness to Adopt the Linked Data Initiative in Nigeria with Ngozi Yunis Osadebe, followed by an additional lightning talk, uh, Public Universities in the State of Linked Data in Uganda, Prospects and Challenges with Winnie Nikesa Okulo. And then finally, um, there's a pre-recorded session for linked data proposal in the Nautilo catalog of the National Library of Mexico. So I hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow for our next and last session as well. And so now I'd like to turn things over to Basiru and um, wanted to give him a brief introduction. Dr. Adi Tomawa Basiru is a librarian by profession. He had his Bachelor of Library and Information Science, Master's in Library and Information Science and PhD for the University of Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Adi Tomiwa is a promising young professional who has consistently demonstrated the great potential of a 21st century librarian. He is currently head of circulation services at the Redeemers University Library at Iosun State, Nigeria. He has been able to distinguish himself through innovative professional services he helped to create and implement at the Redeemers University Library. His innovativeness and professional proficiency have helped to modernize the Redeemer's uni University Library services. Aditumiwa is a 2019 Society for Scholarly Publishing Fellow, IFLA ARL Attendance Grant winner from Africa 2019, 2018 Young Investigators Award recipient in Seattle, and 416 Fellow and Recipient of 2015 Northwest Interlibrary Loan Scholarship Award. So welcome Basiru, and I will turn things over to you. Um, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Um, thanks to the organizer of the LB4 2020 
2020. Uh, the title of my presentation this afternoon is Linked Data Among Academic Libraries in Nigeria, Status and Future uh, Direction. Uh, once again, I'm reaching you out, reaching you from Nigeria, precisely Ede Oshun State. Ede is in Southwest uh, political zone of Nigeria. So uh, my name again is Adita Mwabashiro. Uh, let me say this before my presentation that um, this is not my uh, first uh, appearance at the ED4. I was at the last um, ED4 in 2019 in Boston. Uh, you could see some uh, 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 pictures with some of my friends uh, in Boston. Uh, so uh, uh, this is just the overview of my presentation this afternoon. Uh, the presentation is going to be brief. Just like I said earlier, I have not been feeling fine, but I will try to do justice to the presentation. So I will, do, I will introduce the work. Um, I will try to explain some existing literature on, I don't have, have, the, I don't have them in this slide, but I will explain some existing literature on uh, linked data in library from Nigeria, the methodology used for this um, uh, presentation, the findings, uh, that is the status of Linked data in Nigeria, then conclusion at the future direction of linked data uh, among academic uh, uh, libraries in Nigeria. Uh, so please uh, 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 stay tuned. So uh, the linked data produce uh, opportunity for library to expand value proposition of describing the assets to increase the visibility of library and interoperability with non-library system. So link data help libraries to create a uh, global pool of shared data that can be used to describe resources uh, with, with a limited amount uh, redundant effort compared with current uh, cataloging uh, 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 processes. Uh, so this work we present uh, uh, a study uh, assessing the, the, the the, the future direction and status of linked data among uh, libraries in Southwest, uh, West, Southwest uh, geopolitical zone of Nigeria. So Southwestern Nigeria is one of the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Oh, so uh, uh, it's comprised of the following states. We have Lagos, Ogun, Oyo, Oshun, Udo, and uh, Ekiti states. So the, the, the methodology employed for this year's studies are, the study adopted a survey method of research with a self-developed questionnaire as instrument of data uh, collection. So academic uh, library across all the government and private institutions in Southwestern geop geopolitics of Nigeria were purposely selected. The questionnaire was administered during the annual general meeting of the Nigerian Library Association held in Southwestern Nigeria recently. Uh, across the uh, southwestern geopolitical of Nigeria, we have public and we have private institutions. So uh, it was during one of our annual general meetings that uh, uh, I collected the opinion of the librarians about the, uh, their opinion about linked data in their libraries. Are they using linked data? They are not using, why are they not using it? What was what, what the challenge? And, and uh, recommendation on how we can uh, uh, implement uh, open data in the library. So, 83 professional librarians participated in the study, and uh, six system librarians. The professional librarians are those with master degree. That's how we recognize them. Those with master degree. So, so some of them are uh, head of library, head of units of the library, and some of them specialize in uh, say, cataloging. Liberian scholarly communications and so on. And some of them are actually the system librarian. Some of them are in charge of automation. Some of them are in charge of data library, they're managing the library uh, data. So in all, just like I said earlier, 83 professional librarian and six system librarian participated in making a total of 89 participants uh, participated in, in the study. So the essence is to get their uh, uh, opinion about the current state of linked data in Nigeria. And don't forget, this uh, study is limited to Southwest geopolitical zone of Nigeria. So the study covered the public and private institution. 
And currently, Southwest uh, Geopolitics of Nigeria has the highest number of institutions in Nigeria in terms of universities. So universities in Southwest Geopolitical, Geopolitical Zone in Nigeria at number, uh, 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 in fact, the other five political in terms of uh, institution, in terms of universities. So uh, the simple passage was used to analyze the uh, uh, respondent uh, uh, responses. So uh, I, 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 I will be explaining some of the things, uh, some of the results of the study, which is the status of the linked data among the, the survey uh, uh, library. So the study uh, revealed that uh, linked data is not a recent practice among uh, Nigeria library, but there are some barriers to some of the, these library designed to embrace uh, linked data due to relative uh, complexity of the technology. Uh, the major thing to adopt uh, linked data uh, in Nigeria is the technology. Uh, when I'm talking of the uh, 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 the, the technology, some of the technology facilities to, to uh, needed to, to implement uh, 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 linked data. No doubt, uh, from literature, uh, uh, the, one of the ways that most of these libraries, libraries are engaging data is by sharing data via the uh, uh, automation level. Uh, most libraries uh, 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 are using library management software, but mostly they are using COA. COA is K-O-H-A. COA is, uh, 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 is a software from uh, New Zealand. So with this, some of them can share uh, uh, data because with COA, COA we come with Z39. With Z39, you be able to can be able to share data, be able to pull data from another uh, catalog catalog record to your own uh, record. For example, now most of the academic library they were able to do that uh, successfully. But major thing is the uh, uh, technology. One institution might have the technology, the other one might not have the technology to be able to share the 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 the, the, the resources. So another thing is institutional factors. And when we are talking of institutions, we have a lot of variables under the student factors. Uh, the major thing under these institutional factors is funding. Funding, because and this, which is which is the link with one of the, the first uh, point, which is complexity of the technology. Because there is no funding, they won't be able to to uh, uh, get some of these uh, technology in place to be able to share a uh, 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 link link uh, data. Then some, some of these institutions, they have policy in place in sharing data. So some of them, they are policy against sharing data. Some of them is not, is not well stated, even in the library policy on how, on how their data should be shared among, uh, uh, with other uh, 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 libraries. So, so that's, that's another thing. The system limitations. Um, I said earlier that most of these libraries, they, they are sharing uh, data with, uh, 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 with some of their, like with their uh, uh, automation uh, project process. But some of the software uh, 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 currently in use, most of these libraries, the, some of them have some limitation in sharing data. Like COA, that majority, like currently now, 67% of academic libraries in Southwest Nigeria had already adopted COA. So most libraries using COA, they can share data. They can share data. Like a new library now coming up that has already, already adopted COA, at least over 50% of their resources, they should be able to pull data from libraries that has already adopted uh, COA. But most libraries that are using different software, they will not be able to, uh, because the, the software are not compatible, so they cannot share uh, uh, data. Uh, most of the libraries that have some of these things common, common, they will be able to share resources to the extent they can even share e-resources uh, 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 among themselves. And they could be able to do a kind of file that you engage in interlibrary loan to, uh, to share resources to be able to satisfy their uh, patron. Then another thing, which is one of the status of uh, linked data uh, in Nigeria is the skill level on the part of librarians. 
most librarians they don't have the necessary skills. They don't have the skills to, to, to implement, to adopt, because it's the librarian champion project. And once they don't have the skill, they will not be able to uh, adopt the, 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 the need data uh, 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 project. So, the, so this one, this very one is one of the uh, 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 interests to uh, to to start us off link data uh, uh, link data among the survey uh, libraries in southwest Nigeria. So these are uh, four listed at the current status of uh, link data in Nigeria. Although uh, existing literature shows that uh, in the in the in the past there were efforts were made in, in creating union catalog championed by National Library of Nigeria. But some of the some factors uh, are responsible for the uh, for for non-successful implementation of the uh, program. Uh, majorly, then, majorly based on the literature, uh, some of the libraries that agreed to come together at that time as a consortium, made the major the major limitation then was the budget. Most of these schools don't operate the same budget. What I'm saying is, is that the, the more, uh, maybe five institutions are ready, other institutions are not ready because of budgets, then because of the funding, because some of the most, most of these institutions are based on budget, and they will tell you that now the, the, the it's not in their budget, their budget cannot cover this. If they can wait the following year, some will tell you in another two years. Then another thing that was responsible for uh, the collapse of the union catalog there was the uh, 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 the issue of uh, hosting that then who we who we coordinate who will respond for what who will respond for for this so back to this uh, uh the findings so uh, uh the findings from this study show that these four uh items which is uh which are complexity of the technology social factor system limitation and skill level on the part of the librarian are the current status of, of linked data among the survey libraries in, in Nigeria. So, uh, so uh, based on the, the result of the study, uh, uh, the following uh, recommendations were made, which, which, I, uh, which is the future direction of linked data in Nigeria. Uh, that is, if libraries, academic libraries in Nigeria are to enjoy the benefit of linked data. Uh, uh, some of these things are financial intervention. Uh, like private university, I work with private, private, university, private university. Private university are not part of third fund. Uh, third fund is a tertiary education trust fund. The scheme established by federal government in 2011 to, to disburse, manage, and monitor education, education to uh, 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 Manage fund uh, by government to education institution in Nigeria. Private mercy are not currently part of sharing of that fund. So if the fund is available, private university will be able to uh, uh, adopt and implement a standard uh, linked data. And most of these private universities will be able to assist each other. Also, the awareness, there is low awareness about linked data. Um, and the reason about this is that uh, the, the little libraries that have adopted uh, link data that are engaged in uh, link data, they are very limited. Uh, some of them need to, to engage in kind of uh, sensitization about the, the benefit about link data to other libraries that are yet to adopt uh, uh, link data. Then another thing is the motivation for the library staff. But for you to engage in link data, for you to engage in link data, it, it, it requires a lot of things. Like now, I, live, I, know, I know of a library, they, share, they engage in data, share their data, pass questions, all of that thing, even to making their open repository, uh, their repository open. But it, 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 it takes a lot of things. The library has to train himself. He has to train himself. The, the, Based on my uh, interaction with the with him, he told me some of the things he's doing. He's just training because of the love he has for his institution. So no motivation, 
no 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 front no ground so to attend conferences about link data even even uh, locally so then another thing is regular attendance at training workshop for emerging technology for librarians in nigeria we have some uh, uh, uh technology savvy librarians but they just need to be supported with uh, a kind of uh, regular workshop training about emerging technology to be able to implement uh, link data in in their in their in their in their in their, in their libraries. So 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 financial intervention, awareness, motivation for library staff are, are the, the the recommendation of these studies to uh, management of of the surveys yeah, survey institution in Southwest Nigeria as the future generation of link data in uh, in, in Nigeria. So uh, thank you so much. So that does the empirical uh, uh, findings of this study about uh, current status of uh, link data among the survey libraries in Southwest Nigeria. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much, Adi Tomiwa Vasiru, for such a wonderful overview of the state of link data in Nigeria institutions that you surveyed. Does anyone have questions they, they'd like to speak? They may raise their hand or um, type them into the Q&A panel of the webinar. Uh, looks like Ngozi. Would you unmute? You're welcome to speak. Ngozi, can you hear me? You should be able to unmute. Hello. Hello. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, uh, my question is, why did he, may we know why he chose to limit the study to Western, Southwestern Nigeria only? Hello? Yeah, thank you, uh, Ngozi, for your question. Okay. Uh, you, you, you listen to the uh, presentation okay. from the yeah. uh, I I said, um, most of the institutions, uh, most of these, especially universities, uh, most of them are in Southwest uh, Nigeria. And in terms of uh, technology, in terms of uh, ICT applications in Nigeria, most of the libraries in Southwest Nigeria are adopting, uh, using ICT, most of them to reside in Southwest geopolitical zone of Nigeria. So that is one of the main reasons for this study, for, for limiting the study on southwestern Nigeria. And the, the data was collected in one of our AGA, uh, held in southwestern, in southwest Nigeria recently. So th those are the reasons for limiting the study on libraries in uh, At the conference, at the AGM, although other librarians showed interest to participate in the study, but because, because of the uh, a policy of the uh, researcher that to limit the work on libraries from southwest geopolitical zone of Nigeria. But the researcher is still looking at maybe later we can expand the scope of the study to other geopolitical zone of uh, Nigeria. But the major reason is that because most time, if you look at uh, AUC Nigeria University Commission currently. Uh, I think Ocean State is leading in terms of universities in Nigeria, no other states. So those are the reasons for limited study to Southwest geopolitical zone Nigeria. Okay, thank you. Can I, can, I ask, can I ask another question? Please go ahead, please go ahead. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, is there any study to show that uh, other university libraries in Nigeria are not 
Uh, it depends on the it depend on the uh, the aspect of technology you are looking at. But when we are talking of technology in library, we have various just know uh, technology is a very broad field. So it depends on the area, is it in, in the area of automation, is it in the area of digitization, is it in the area of green data we are talking. Mm. So it depends on the angle of application mm. of IC mm. technology to library, you are saying. Mm. So it depends. So when we are talking of ICT application, technology application library, we have various forms of application, especially in academic libraries. Mm. So it depends on the area. Okay. Okay, can I ask still another question? Just one more. Please go ahead. Yeah. So I have not seen you in our I have not been seeing you in our LD4 affinity group meetings. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, yeah. 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 Uh for the past three, for the past in the last couple of weeks, I've not been feeling fine. I've done in fact. Uh, I told Hilary, in fact, when I got a mail, that I doubt I'll be able to, to make the presentation, but I said I would try. I told her I would try. I've not been feeling fine. Okay. So that's a, in fact, but you should be able to see my message on Slack yesterday. No, three days, two days ago. Mm. I sent me. Yes, I, I saw your name. I was wondering yeah. if you yes. are last Nigerian year, last or, year, yeah. last year in Boston, last year in Boston, I was in Boston. I saw your pictures. Yeah. Yes, so so the, for the last couple of weeks, I've not been indisposed, I've not been feeling fine. So that's why you've not been seeing my uh, I, my contributions on the on the on the platform. Okay, that's very good. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Thank you, Ngozi, and thank you, Aditomiwa Basiru, for powering through today. It looks like we have another question in uh, the Q&A from Carolyn. Do you feel that Nigeria is ahead or behind other countries in Africa in adopting linked data protocols and library work? Please, can you take the question again? Sure. Do you feel that Nigeria is ahead or behind other countries in Africa in adopting linked data protocols and library work? Yes. Nigeria is, we are behind. Even South Africa there, South Africa, uh, if you check the literature, South Africa is one of the leading countries in terms of leading data in Africa. We are behind. And some, thank God the best, the, the best that has the questions, thank God she's from Nigeria. Our major problem in Nigeria is power. If there is no power, I don't think you can do anything. Well, you use power for the technology. Most of these technologies, you need power for them. So, so, so our major problem is power. And from there, funding. And uh, I think I mentioned this, this at the course of my presentation. So in Africa, Nigeria is far, far behind in terms of clean data in library. For we have, and Nigeria is a pity that Nigeria is a giant of Africa. But it's a pity in the area of link data, we are not doing well. And I'm challenging the person that asks questions, how many libraries in Nigeria can say they can share data. Some of them, maybe, maybe some of them they have been able to share data. Maybe their the, the institutional policy might not be in support. And, and other factors like that. And based on my presentation today, most of the, there are some libraries recently, most of them are private university. They agree to share data, but the major hindrance is that some of them are not using the same uh, especially in the area of automation, some of them are not using the same uh, library software. So this makes it very difficult uh, for them to share. The, they, can, they, can, they can to some extent, but they cannot really enjoy the benefit of uh, uh, linked data. It looks like we have another question. What are the most exciting use cases you see for linked data in Nigeria? in general, not just libraries. What are the general? Uh, the most exciting use cases you see for linked data most in Nigeria. Use cases, so um, examples of, of how you might implement linked data in Nigeria. Well, uh, with the recent uh, introduction of RDA, resource uh, description and access, 
uh, I think um, some academic librarian uh, begin to see uh, potential benefit of uh, uh, linked data. And I'm happy that uh, this, one of the session of Nigerian Library Association, cataloging and innovation session, uh, uh, based the team of their conference and on RTA. Because if they really uh, explore RTA and, uh, and they, they manage the project, I think they are going to, and uh, there will be a great benefit for uh, RTA in using sharing uh, data. And one more question before we move on to Onan Malumba. Um, maybe not to the same extent, but academic libraries in the United States would recognize these same challenges. Will the financial intervention be to make COHA and other platforms link data compliant or are you pursuing other opportunities? Sorry, can you take the question again? Sure. Uh, will the financial intervention be to make COHA and other platforms link data compliant, or are you pursuing other opportunities? Yes. Um, yes. Um, funding, just like, just like I said, funding is a major thing. Most of these software are open source, but the major thing is the technicality involved. That's why, I'm like in Nigeria, most library, most library involve involve engage the service of vendors to uh, automate their library using different software. Most of these software are free, but they don't have the technicality, even to migrate their existing data to uh, to any choosing library software is a major problem. Migrate, migrate, migrating their existing data to new platform is a major problem. And I know some library that are ready to engage in uh, linked data, but funding is a major problem to get some of the technology in place. And don't forget that a major problem in Nigeria is power. So even if we have the technology, we still need power to power some of this technology, use some of this technology to be able to enjoy the benefit of uh, linked data. And that is it. Thank you. And looks like Ngozi, you wanted to say one more thing. Um, yes, I wanted to. I wanted to add my voice to the first question on whether Nigeria is ahead or behind other countries in Africa in adopting linked data protocols and library work. I don't think we are. Uh, we might not be the last. We might not be ahead, but we are not the last. Because uh, Wikipedia Nigeria News Group is doing a lot of work. And uh, AFLIA, African Library and Information Association, they are doing great work too in promoting linked data. I was at the Wikipedia Nigeria User Group uh, workshop last November at Abuja. They talked much about link data and weak data. So what I'm trying to say is that the awareness is gradually being created. People are gradually knowing about it. And it is something that I feel that they loved because of the benefits one and the reduced workload that is associated with it. Thank you. Thank you, and oh, go ahead. Where are you gonna... Hilary, can I quickly react to that? Oh, sure. Yeah, thank you for the uh, Wikipedia project by the uh, Affilia. Although when I conducted this study, uh, the, I think the, the Wikipedia project uh, happened this year. But when the result was consulted, it was uh, 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 some months back. So the Wikipedia project, uh, happened this year. So that's why this study didn't cover anything on the uh, 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 Wikipedia project by the affiliate. 
Thanks so much, Adi Tumila Basiru, for your presentation and for this great discussion. Um, I'd like to turn things over to Onan Malumba. Um, so if you would stop sharing your screen and then Onan may start his presentation. Thank you. And um, Onan Malumba is an academic agricultural librarian and head of agricultural libraries at McCary University since July uh, 2007. Additionally, he is co-project manager for a head at McCary University. Onan is asked Research for Life users representative on the Executive Council and winner of Research for Life Unsung Heroes Award in 2013. He participated in the implementation of TEEAL Agora project activities in Uganda under ITOCA. He is a researcher and trainer of information literacy and reference management. Onan holds a bachelor's degree in biological sciences, a master's degree in information science, and looks forward to pursuing a PhD. So welcome, Onan. Oh, thank you very much, Hilary. Uh, good morning. Uh, good evening, good afternoon. <laughs> Unfortunately, here it's already evening. Uh, it's already uh, half past five, so it's evening. I salute you all. I'm Onan Mulumba uh, from Makere University in Uganda. I'm presenting on library services and linked data at Makere University, uh, prospects of a research led university. So just to take you through uh, the overview of my presentation, I'm going to briefly look at the background of Makere University, then uh, uh, looking at the National Biodiversity Data Bank, then the objective of my study methodology, and then uh, I'll look at the data linking at Makere University, then the challenges and the, the, the life cycle of linked data. Just in brief, Makere University is, uh, uh, University is uh, one of the oldest universities in Africa. It was established in 1922, and the oldest, of course, in East Africa. Makere University is one of the most pre prestigious in the, on, on the African continent, and uh, it has educated a number of uh, African current and, and past leaders. It is ranked the best university in the country and currently the fifth in Africa. Of course, this is according to the, the Times Higher uh, Education rankings as per September of last year. McKay University has three core activities, teaching, research, and community outreach. McKay University was selected to host the National Biodiversity Data Bank. And this was established in 1990. The, 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 the Biodiversity Data Bank is national. And because of the status of Macau University, the, uh, the, the country felt that this would be the most suitable uh, place where it could be hosted. And in 1990, it was established, hosted at Makere University, of course, funded by the uh, USAID. But in 2019 is when they established an online version of the data bank. As we speak now, it has over 8,000 8, species entries, over one, uh, 140,000 georeferenced species, 7,000 bio biological recordings, data and protected areas, and of course, so much more than this. So this, this, uh, this data bank houses so much collection, especially when it comes to the species, um, uh, the number of species, for example, of a particular organism in a, in a, in a, in a certain ecosystem, looking at animals, uh, looking at plants, and uh, so much of the biodiversity. So it houses all this collection. However, I would like to, to note that the data in the National Biodiversity Data Bank is not even linked. It's not linked. 
and even the web uh, the web platform which was established does not host i mean does not have um, i mean uh, all the content which is uh, which is uh, hosted by the, uh, the by diversity data bank because much of it is still in a, in, in, in still in, in in print so the objective of my study was basically to look at the status of leaked data at Makere University. This is because uh, the government of Uganda injects a lot of money in research, especially at Makere, because starting uh, uh, with effect from last year, the government started releasing annually 30 billion Uganda shillings to support research at Makere University. Makere University has so many partners on the African continent and outside who are engaged in research activities. We see a lot of data being collected. And much of this data is not visible. This is why I set out to establish the status of the uh, linked data at, the, uh, at McKell University and how uh, this can be, uh, can be uh, improved. In terms of methodology, my research, my study was basically an exploratory research, basing on secondary data, what has already been done, what other scholars have done about uh, linked data or research data management. This is what I try to analyze and see what the status quo is of uh, linked data at McKay University. So, McKay University has a lot of data, actually. When you search the different uh, uh, data repositories, a lot of data is available outside there. And these are some of the repositories, the open data repositories, where you find uh, data at McKay University, I mean, data uh, emanating from McKay University. Uh, you see, like, when, when you check in Mendeley data, in Zenodo, in uh, Figshare, you have, uh, I mean, when you look at UK data. So all these platforms, these repositories have, uh, have, uh, have data from Makere University. However, when you check the repositories in Makere University, there is, I, I would say, summary that there is no data. There is no data, no linked data in Makere University. Yet we have the Makere Institutional Repository which was designed based on the, uh, using the DSPACE software. And it captures, it's supposed to capture resources, I mean, research from, uh, from within and uh, uh, within the university uh, by, by, by scholars, by researchers from the university and also about the university. So all that research which is being done by the university, it is archived in the institutional repository. That is Makerere Institutional Repository, MAKIR. However, the research data is not captured in the, institution, in the institutional repository. When you search the institutional repository, there is just one record, one record of data in the institutional repository. However, in other repositories, actually, I just sampled out and used uh, Mendeley data. When I searched Mendeley data, you will see that we have over 1,495 records. They are, I mean, the data sets, 1,495 data sets. Of course, Mendeley data provides some form of gateway to other repositories because it does the linking. And this data is available in these um, uh, external repositories. However, an initiative can be done for such data also to be exported to Makere Institutional Repository. The data can be linked, uh, for example, using the, uh, using the uniform resource locator, uh, such that this data uh, in, in, in the, uh, in the uh, external repositories is linked to the, uh, to the, uh, the institutional repository, linked in the institutional repository, and uh, I mean to ease access. Sometimes, researchers in McKay University have access, even without internet, because this is an intranet. They have access to the institutional repository where the data could be accessed even without internet. But because the data is not available, it's not linked uh, in, in the institutional repository, it's not linked at the university, 
this data gets lost, it's not available. And also, besides having uh, data sets in, the, uh, in external repositories, you find that much of the data, especially from scholars, is not archived anywhere, is not stored anywhere in our repository. It's not stored anywhere, even in the external repositories. What researchers do is they keep their data with them on their personal computers. Others even keep it on, 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 um, on other storage media and eventually it gets lost. So this data could be uh, archived alongside other uh, research output in the institutional repository. So in this uh, slide, I'm trying to show that this data, for example, if I'm to export this data, because this is an open uh, repository, I could export this data, get the metadata and capture it in the institutional repository, and then link it using a universal resource locator into, uh, in, 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 the, uh, in Mac IR, Mac Institutional Repository. Because uh, the metadata actually in this uh, Mac Institutional Repository is, 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 is captured basing on the on Dublin core. So it is easy to be captured. So here I'm trying to show how this can be done. Because I just got one, just one record from, uh, uh, from an external open, uh, open uh, repository, data repository, and brought it in the institutional repository of Macquarie University. Actually, where you, 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 uh, from this slide, you're seeing that there are two uh, un, uh, uniform resource identifiers. One is a system generated, the upper one is a system generated, uh, no, the upper one is, uh, uh, is uh, imported from the external repository. And then this, the lower one is a system generated uh, uniform resource locator, I mean identifier, which we can use also in case we want to link this data in an, in, in, in an, uh, in an external, in an external repository. So this is one way this data can be linked uh, in, in, uh, in our institutional repository. This is another step. Again, for example, when you go to, uh, when you go to, if, if you want to ask, uh, sorry, to, to link this data from Makere Institutional Repository, I try to uh, like create a record in Mendeley data, whereby I get the URI, URI the, uh, the uniform resource uh, identifier from Mac IR, which is the Mackey Institution Repository, and then I mean copy it and send it to uh, to, to to Mendel Data, so that this data, when one cannot access it internally within the university, can access it from an, uh, from Mendel Data from an outside or from an external repository. There are factors affecting the adoption of linked data at Macquarie University. And we look at, when you look at uh, the, uh, the available literature, researchers uh, basically talk of the lack of a, a research data management policy. There is no policy to govern research data at Macquarie University, totally no policy. And yet our scholars and researchers have a tendency of fearing to guard against the law. If there is no policy, Many times they don't want to risk. At times, some of them fear issues to do with, uh, with copyright. So the absence of a policy affects um, uh, uh, data linking at McKay University. Secondly, there is no budget. There is no budget, no budget allocation for linked data, for, 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 research, for management of research data at McKay University. We have a directory a directorate of research and graduate training in Makere. It's a fully fledged directorate with a director. But I want to, to believe this has not been considered before. Why? Maybe due to lack of awareness, as we are seeing here, some of the at times they are not aware of how these things can be done or of the value of linked data. I want to believe that lack of awareness of linked data at Makere University causes a lot of trouble. And much of this uh, data non-linking at McKay University 
could be due to lack of awareness and then also lack of capacity. Yes, we could be having very professional staff in the library and in the university. We have people who are ICT compliant. However, data, uh, uh, linked, uh, linking of data requires building of capacity. So since we do not have the technical people or we do not have people with the technical skills to do data linking, then it becomes a very big problem. Yet, if this is done, uh, capacity building, I believe something can, I mean, we can say very great improvement in data linking. So it's from this point, I feel that if this is done, then we can see awareness. If awareness is done, a budget allocation, because of course you need, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, linking of data requires uh, cloud storage. You cannot just, I mean, uh, overlook that. You need cloud storage, you need, I mean, doing awareness, you need resources available to do awareness. You need resources, even uh, establishing a policy, you need, you need resources, you need money, you need finances to do that. Capacity development needs finance. So with all, I mean, uh, budget allocation done, uh, a policy framework put in place, and also capacity. Now, for example, I want to believe there are so many people would be willing to take up this mantle. A person like me, I'm very much willing to take up the mantle to ensure that data is linked at market University. But at times we lack the capacity because our knowledge is limited. Is limited and you cannot move far because you don't have a certain piece of knowledge or you don't have a certain capacity to do that. So I believe that if this is addressed, awareness by allocation, policy framework put in place, capacity development. Uh, for example, if we put this together alongside a linked data life cycle, I sampled out this from Gomo and others of 2014. Using this data, uh, linked data life cycle uh, from storage, uh, st uh, sorry, from uh, 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 manual linking, uh, no, manual revision and authoring, uh, linking of uh, uh, interlinking and fusing, classification enrichment, uh, quality analysis, evolution repair, search browsing, exploration, extraction, and storage or query. All these steps put in place. I want to believe that because Makere University is vying to become more of a research a lead university. I want to believe that with this data linking research, we can see McKay University having an improved research output and quality. We can see data exploration, I mean, uh, the accessibility of data, a reuse of data, all this being, I mean, I mean be, being done, of course, uh, uh, eventually increasing, uh, um, uh, increasing the quality of the research output. Then also, we can see an increased uh, research collaboration at McKay University. By having all this in place, I want to believe McKay can reach the objective of becoming a more a research led university. So I thank you so much for listening to me and please keep safe uh, from Corona. Thank you. Thank you so much, Onan Malumba. Are there questions? You may raise your hand if you would like to speak, and also you can type them into the Q and A panel uh, in in Zoom as well. Looks like there's a question from Ngozi. I just unmuted you, so you should be able to speak. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Anand, for that beautiful presentation. My question is a very simple one. Uh, with somebody like you at Makerere University, may I know whose responsibility is it to link data? Okay, thank you so much. Yes, like I said, there is no research data management policy because it is the policy which identifies who is responsible for this. Is it the university? Is it the ICT department? Because we have a full-fledged directorate 
of research, uh, sorry, of, of ICT. Then we have a Directorate of Research and uh, Graduate Training. All these are key, uh, key sec uh, sections within the university, which I want to believe um, uh, have a stake in uh, linking data. However, the absence of a policy still makes it hard to, to I, I mean, to, 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 to say that, yes, the, the, the authority or the, the, the responsibility of data linking is to the library or is to the ICT, uh, the directorate or is to the, uh, the uh, research and graduate training. So it's still hard. Otherwise, the library does uh, data management, of course, uh, doing data, uh, uh, metadata of resources and, and uploading of uh, research. But in the institutional repository, to who populates the institutional repository, especially to do with the research reports and dissertations and, and other um, research output like uh, articles, and it's the library. However, the researchers themselves still have to do self-archiving. I think you see, now you can understand how, I mean, uh, things become so hard because researchers have got to do self-archiving. Then we do quality control as the library. And eventually, the policy is supposed to be uh, formulated by the, uh, by, by, by the uh, university administration. So it is hard, but I want to believe the library has a big stake in data linking. I hope I've answered your question. Yeah. Very well, thank you very much. Please, can I ask another, or just one more question? Yeah, please do. Yeah, so, uh, I will still say with somebody like you because you understand this, this link data issue very well. And you understand the yeah. benefits that an institution stands to gain. Yeah. So may I ask, are there moves you are putting in place to ensure that data at uh, Makerere University are linked? Hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. Like I said, there is no awareness which has already been done. I want to be frank that no initiative has so far been done to ensure that the data has been linked. No and initiative. No, no initiative at making policy. None. Completely. Okay. Yeah. It looks like we have another question from Tyler. Uh, Tyler, you should be able to talk. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, thank you for the presentation. Um, I, I was curious too um, if at McCary University um, linked data training is provided as like information literacy courses to the students. And so like I, I would imagine that you do outreach to researchers who are publishing, but I'm just curious about how this is if uh, you're using, you know, linked data for just general coursework for folks, if that makes sense. I beg your pardon, please. Um, I, I'm curious about if, if um, just you do link data training, um, you know, for, for your faculty so, so they know how to use your system. You, you do this, this kind of presentation for them too, right? Ah, we've not done link data training yet at the, at the institution. However, of course, this is a, maybe it can start from here but we have not yet done it. We've not done link data training yet at the faculty. Okay, th thank you. And, and uh, thank you for the presentation. Oh, you're welcome, thank you. Looks like we have one more question from Winnie. Winnie, you should be able to um, speak now. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I just, uh, my name is Winnie, I'm from Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yes, Winnie, please go on. Winnie? Oh. Winnie, can you hear us? Oh. oh can, can you please post the question if the network is poor? Yeah. Sorry. Unfortunately, you're breaking up, Winnie. Are you able to share the question in the Q&A panel? Can you 
Unfortunately, we're still not able to understand. Yes, I can. Okay, yes, yes, Winnie, please go on. Sorry, Winnie, you are breaking. I hope, uh, if, if possible, you can post the question in the, in the question and answer. We can't hear you. It looks like she dropped off, so I will try to follow up with her and get the question to you, Onan. Thank yeah. you so much for your presentation. It looks like um, we've answered all of the current questions. So thank you very much, Onan Malumba and Abitomiwa Basiru for kicking off our planning for implementation track this morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are joining us from. And we have another session tomorrow. So I hope you'll join us for Federal University Libraries Readiness to Adopt Linked Data Initiative in Nigeria with Ngozi Uniso Sadebe and Public Universities in the State of Linked Data in Uganda with Winnie Nikesa. And then uh, there's a pre-recorded session, Linked Data Proposal in the Nautilo Catalog of the National Library of Mexico. So our track will continue tomorrow. Um, there are still uh, tracks today in the metadata production track. So I hope that you will join us uh, at later conference sessions today. And thank you all so much for attending. And thank you so much to our presenters. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye.